Evansville Aces are up next. Ryan Taylor and Dwayne Gibson represent the student athletes. Head coach Marty Simmons will open up with a statement on the game, and then we'll go to questions for just Ryan and Dwayne, and then we'll dismiss them. Marty, please. Yeah, tough, tough, tough game for us. Give uh, Northern Iowa credit. I mean, I thought they really uh, defended us well, which they're pretty good at, at that anyway. Uh, but I just felt like their physicality, uh, we didn't respond to that in the, in the proper way. Uh, certainly not not how we wanted our season to come to an end. Um, I'm really proud of our our team and our players. Uh, like pretty much every team in the country, we've had to battle through some adversity, and I'm just real appreciative that our guys continued to come to practice with a good attitude and work, and uh, and I'm thankful for that. Questions for Ryan or Dwayne? Start right here. Thank you. Ryan, what, what did you kind of see as maybe the biggest things tonight that you can really get going? Um, I don't understand the question. I'm sorry. The biggest things that kind of kept, kept you from, from getting going oh, okay. tonight. Yeah, I mean, they play really good defense. Um, the best defense I've ran into all year, as you can see, only had two points. Um, so they play really good defense. On the right. Uh, Ryan, just what, what did, um, you know, Brown's defense on you, just how did he maybe approach you differently than, than the last two times? Face guard, uh, not let me touch the ball, making sure that everybody else scored. That kind of thing. Yeah, they didn't switch as much. They did do some switching um, throughout the game, but they didn't switch as much. And he was more focused about uh, taking me away. And he did a really, really good job of it. Uh, Dwayne or Boo just, uh, uh, you know, after I, I know you haven't had long to process it, but just. You know, after your final game of your career, just what are what, what's kind of running through your head? Uh, I don't know. Just a lot of flashbacks right now. You know, all this stuff is going by so fast, and I'm just you know, I'm just trying to think of all the good times right now, and you know, not dwell on it so much, and just be appreciative of the career I had. Anything else for the student athletes of Evansville? Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. Congratulations on your season. We're going to stay here with Coach Marty Simmons for a bit longer. Yes, you can go. And um, first question for Coach Simmons will come from right there. Marty, just talk about Isaiah Brown's defense on, on Ryan. I mean, that was really the story of the game, don't you think? Yeah, I mean, they, they, you know, Brown's a, a, a longer, um, really good athlete, and I thought he competed really hard. Uh, just watching the film from our second game, they did some switching with everybody except Cook and, and Rhodes, and that's how we prepared, and at times, uh, they switched with uh, with Brown, and other times they didn't. I mean, they kept us they kept us off balance. But I think more than anything, just his. I mean, I thought he gave great effort. Uh, he's a good athlete. Uh, he's long, and and we didn't we didn't screen. I think that physicality part of uh, just just being better at uh, at screening. Yeah, just what 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 do you think were some other other kind of keys to the game? Uh, well, in the first half, we felt like the glass. Uh, we let them. We let them get a couple on the glass. We went under, underneath a couple ball screens that that we didn't feel like you know we should have. Uh, overall, probably didn't play quite quite good enough to win defensively, but it it certainly was admirable. I thought our guys gave a lot of effort there. Uh, just offensively, just just. You know, Gibson was the only guy that really looked to attack 
off the dribble. And we really challenged our guys until very late in the game. We really challenged our guys against their switching to, to look to be more aggressive off the dribble. And uh, we, we just we didn't do a good job of it. Anything else for the head coach? Yes, All right, back there, David. Marty, can you speak to Drew Smith's night and just the way he finished the season for you after the injury he battled? Yeah, he's going to be he's going to be off here for an extended time. Uh, you know, he played Saturday, did not practice Sunday or Monday. Practiced thirty minutes on Tuesday and about about thirty again on on uh, Wednesday. Uh, he's one of the toughest young men that that I've ever coached in that his ability to play through play through pain. I mean, he's he's uh, he's ruptured his plantar fascia, and he's out there out there playing. Uh, you know, it was unfortunate that he wasn't on one of the all conference teams. I'm not sure if that was uh, he didn't play enough conference games or what, but he certainly, uh, in my opinion, merited that honor. I think it. At one time, he was leading the league in assists, leading the league in steals. And when you look at his offensive numbers, they're off the charts. He's just a real coachable kid, uh, loves to play the game, got a high basketball IQ. Uh, I think you'll see him make another jump from his sophomore year to his junior year, just like he did from his freshman to sophomore. He really, he really loves to play. Anything else for Coach Simmons? All right, Marty, thank you very much.